people have been asking me how they can help their communities. Here's what you can do. You can donate blood. You can donate blood. You can donate blood. The coronavirus, of course, causing a severe shortage now on blood donations here and across the country. And while we are all urged, even by the governor there, to donate when we can, others are limited in their opportunity to help. Uh, gay and bisexual men are still banned from donating blood. Our Brandon Lee joining us live tonight. And Brandon, uh, you've heard from a lot of viewers about, it, uh, about this. Um, if you're like me, you're kind of surprised that this rule is still in place. Hey, Zine and Heather, it's good to see the both of you tonight. Yeah, this is how the story really came to be. It was about last week. We posted an article on our website, azfamily.com, about gay men being denied an opportunity to go and donate blood to try and help out their neighbors, right? We've heard the governor say over and over again, every time he hits the podium, donate blood, donate blood, donate blood if you can. Well, at the same time, my inbox has been inundated with messages from many men who say that they have gone to donate blood only to be denied when they've gone to the blood bank center simply because they are gay. Now, a little bit of history on this for you. This fight actually goes back decades, all right? I'm talking 17 Democratic senators have now urged the FDA to update its policy and remove this ban completely. Now, they call it stigmatizing, they call it discriminatory, Earlier this afternoon, I had a chance to speak with Congressman Greg Standen, a Democrat who represents the area of Phoenix, and I asked him about this policy and if he thought it was discriminatory. Here's a portion of my exchange with the congressman from earlier today. They were asked probing questions and they were asked, are you a gay man? And they said yes. And then the second question was, have you been sexually active over the past year? They all said yes, and they were all turned away. Do you think that this ban on gay men from donating blood, do you see that as discriminatory? Yes, it's discriminatory, but even more important than that, it's self-defeating. As the governor has said, we are begging people to give blood during this time. So many blood drives have had to be canceled. We are desperate for as many people as possible to donate blood as possible. And to have a uh, irrational and non-scientific based ban on gay men giving blood turns away a, a key group that would be more than willing uh, to donate blood to help people in need during this time. So not only is it discriminatory, it's hurting health care here in Arizona. And, you know, I think this goes all the way back to the early 1980s during the AIDS uh, pandemic. Um, and the thought was back in the 1980s was that only gay men could carry and transmit the HIV virus. Well, welcome to the year 2020. And we know that that is simply not true and it's not based in fact. Why do you think that this antiquated policy is still in existence today? Well, I do know the FDA changed the recommendation just a couple of years ago. It used to be a lifetime ban that if you were a gay man, you could not donate blood at all anytime in your lifetime. Now they've changed it to where someone who has been sexually active in the last year is not able to uh, give blood. But that's not really scientifically based either because we test all of the blood before it goes into uh, the system. And it should be more of an individualized uh, uh, ask about people's behavior uh, as opposed to a blanket ban on gay men. There's no indication that gay men are somehow less healthy than the population at large. Now, again, just to give you an idea of the kind of blood shortage that we're dealing with here in Arizona, if you think about it, because of the new rules of social distancing, nearly 5,000 blood drives just in the state of Arizona have had to been canceled because of COVID-19. If you are interested in donating blood, you can always go to the Red Cross's website and check out when they're going to be setting up another pop-up blood drive to see if you qualify. But again, if you're a gay man and you've had sex in the past year, you will not be allowed to donate. Now, Congressman Greg Standen is telling me tonight there's a ton of pressure on the FDA in Washington right now because of the crisis that we're facing, that if there's a time to remove this policy, remove this ban on gay men donating blood, right now is the time to do that. And they may actually do it when they put forth another stimulus bill in the next couple of weeks, Heather.